Hi everyone, I'm back. This is Gilmer, and this is episode 5 of my Let's Play Rise of Prussia. And I'm at the opening screen. I wish it, I wish it would, the uh, recording would start when uh, the uh, the full splash screen is up. It's uh, very impressive. It's actually a bigger screen of this part right here. And of course, the man himself stand, sitting right here, Frederick the Great. He is the man of the hour, so... Uh, let's uh, resume play and um, let's see. Okay, so uh, on my last episode, we talked about uh, should we ev evacuate Whistle, and I said no. Um, I read all of these. William Pitt dismissed. Prussia creates Frey Battalion. Uh, Prussia reacts to Sweden War Declaration. France reacts to the Army of, Pro of Observation. And Austria has received a new general. Prussian morale has been decreased to balance the game. And it's early April, so we still have a chance of uh, poor weather in this, uh, in this year, but hopefully not we won't have any harsh snow or harsh weather, uh, snow, blizzard, or anything like that. Um, okay, this is uh, Berlin, and that's Heinrich. I have him marching to, let's get him to Staten, really? It's going to take forever to get to where he's going. I guess I could get him up here. How heavy is his troop? It's his troops. Where is he? I thought I would I thought I was on him. There we go. How heavy is this? Weight 17. Wonder. No, we can't because I know that um you can't bring the uh wait a minute. Maybe we can't. No. Are there any? What's this? What's the? Uh... Okay. Let's get him to. Let's get him to sweat. Put him on this. Uh, this. Uh, these transports, and we'll get try to see if we can't get him over there using transports because they go a lot faster, obviously. And then, let's see what we have here. We still have uh, Kleist trying to catch up to the main force. He has not done it yet. Um, Budin has a uh, another fortified camp, and um, I have I have cavalry in these formations, and I don't know why they wouldn't be able to see what's in here. But maybe there's nothing in here. Maybe that's the point. Um, this formation or, or the troops in this uh, in this region could pose a problem. There's a, a force of 1313 power and then another force that's under Joseph Lucchese who looks like that's what about what four, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, about eight or nine hundred. So we're we're looking at 21, 2200 power of this of these forces in this uh, in this region. I guess he's in Schlan, which is that. If I come, if I get here, let's just see how long it would take. I don't know why that was clicked off. That usually doesn't ever click off. All right. Let's see. Oh, that was weird. Supply train, supply train. Keith has a lot of supply. So let's put this in the Mark Grab Carl's formation. Then let's see what we can do with Frederick the Great. See how long it would take. Two days. Number of days to enter this region. Number of days 
to enter this region only three days. So it will take him three days to move there and only two days for Friedrich to move there. I wonder if that means that I still have the uh, crossing the river penalty for uh, if these troops move up to fight me. I don't think I don't think that will be the case. I think I will have beaten him there and then I will have been able to get rid of that uh, crossing the river penalty. I hope that is the case because I want to take a gamble. I want to, uh, you know, I've, I've already done one gamble. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. But I had that huge battle on last turn, and, and my morale went, jumped up to 138, even with the, uh, the morale decrease to balance the game event. So let's see. Yeah, he he was angered. Wilhelm Wilhelm von Preussen has been angered for being passed over for army command in favor of Heinrich von Preussen. Um, Wilhelm's not a very good compared to the rest of the generals. He's just not a very good general. He's he's a uh, mediocre. He's not a bad general. He's just mediocre. And so, um, and I guess what I did was I have Gessler. Uh, Prime to um, I have Gessler prime to uh, how's that? Prince Moritz is still back there. Yes, so uh, I hope if we get there and we have a battle, we win it because these guys are coming behind, and if they get there and nobody's there, they will get destroyed. Um, but where's Gessler? I think Gessler, I do have Gessler. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to promote Gessler to a three star. Um, what is his, what are, what are his rank? It's 632. That strategic rating is awesome. The uh, offensive and defensive ratings are not that great, but uh, that strategic rating is very good. Three is not bad. Three is it goes from two to six and three is about normal slightly slightly less than normal um, but as you see there are, most of these generals um, are twos twos and ones and especially the the Austrian generals are all twos and ones for attack and defense they're, they're horrible horrible leaders in it and it might even tell me I know Lucchese is horrible as a leader in this game, I don't, you know, I don't want to cast aspersions on him in real life, but in this game, his uh, rankings are horrible, and so are Piccolomini's rankings. I think his his uh, rankings are really bad as well. So, with that said, and maybe they're slow movers as well. I don't know, Joseph Lucchese and Piccolomini. Piccolomini, 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 I don't know. I, I hate to, uh, you know, mispronounce their names. I have a very um, strange name as well that if if you've seen the games loading, you've seen a different name than my real name, and that's because I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very leery of letting my real name out on the Internet. I just don't like it. Um... I might be being um, overcautious or even paranoid, but um, you know, not to get too deep into it. But I've actually had people actually threaten me on the internet, and and um, you know, one on one, fist to fist, I probably could hold my own. But I'm not, you know, I, I don't hold any illusions illusions on um, people you know sneaking up behind well that's neither here nor there I, I don't know why I got into that but I, I I just wanted to say that um, I do have a difficult name and I hate it when people I don't hate it when people mispronounce it but if they don't even try it's, it's kind of annoying if they just just mangle it for whatever reason it's kind of annoying so 
That being said, uh, if I'm if you're a descendant of Piccolomini or Lucchese and I'm getting it wrong, I apologize. Um, I think the guys are outside uh, taking my trash away because there's a lot of banging outside. So anyway. Now that I completely embarrassed myself over talking about fighting people, um, let's just look at a couple other things. Okay, I read this last time too. We captured Lobosets and captured Seven Supply and 210, cr 210 crates of ammunition and captured Lobosets from Austria. That, and, and that was actually the location of a historical, the, the first big historical battle between Frederick the Great and Austria, and of course he won. And, uh, that set the stage pretty much for the rest of the, the ground war. Um, I do want to look over here and just make sure. One thing, or I, mean, I always say one thing, but I really want to keep, I really want to uh, keep some troops here in Castle because it's very hard to get into Castle. And it's very hard to get out of Castle, so it's almost as if they, um, if anybody attacks into here, it basically for a while takes their troops out of the game almost, which is pretty good. You know, if someone comes at me and I'm there, then that's, you know, that's something I'll accept. Uh, there is a, there is a, um, At all those, look at all those uh, replacements now. Before it was just Prussia. Now I got I have the Great British replacements, uh, Great Britain's replacements, uh, Hanover's replacements. Uh, Hess, Hess uh, state of Hess, I guess. Uh, their replacements and uh, Braunschweig. Or Brunswick is really is is the is the uh, English version of that Brunswick. It's Braunschweig in, in German, or I guess it is. I mean that I I'm really making an educated guess there. I don't really know that that's Brunswick, but it sounds just almost like it. So I'm just assuming that that is Brunswick. Um, yeah, so. That looks pretty interesting. Where are my British troops? Where are my British troops? Um, one thing I read, and uh, you know, I guess I could do that. Look at all these extra troops that I have. I don't have near enough generals for all these guys. his power now 1500 so let's move up 69 what the hell 42 28 takes a long time to cross this river I guess 20 days um, 11 days that's one thing that well I was going to say something about Frederick the Great crossing that river, but it said it only takes him two days. I guess that's because of his fast moving ability. Um, yeah, but anyway, I actually read, I've, I've mentioned this guy before, and I, obviously I know it's not his real name, but he goes by uh, Narwhal on the Ajon forums and the old Paradox forums. And he probably still goes to the Paradox forums, but when a job was part of Paradox, he did a lot of uh, AARs over on the Paradox forums, especially Rise of Prussia, I think was one of the first titles that went in under the Paradox uh, name. Because, it, and if you, if you start this game, I think it starts with Paradox, comes up and then Rise of Prussia, I think. I might be wrong about that. It might be... Uh, Revolution Under Siege, one of them, the, it says Paradox Interactive on it as it comes up, which is kind of funny because they're no longer part of Paradox, but 
Um, one of the things I went back and read some of his old AARs, and one of the things that he mentioned is uh, Lubeck will surrender almost immediately if you capture Lubeck, the uh, the nation or the state will surrender, surrender almost immediately if you capture Lubeck, the city. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. It was kind of cheating, I guess, if I if I read some of his strategies. But actually, many much of his strategy was uh, pretty much my same strategy before you know and that I'd already decided upon before. Um, going back and reading his AAR, one of his strategies was to come down and at least take Prague. He was going to try to do that before winter in 1756, but he was stopped, pretty, pretty stopped at Perna, and uh, he got Perna to actually surrender, but um, I was not able to do that. I ended up actually having, uh, fighting a battle. I didn't put it on assault. They just fought. You know, I, I didn't, I wasn't trying to, uh, attack burn I was trying to get it to surrender but um, they came forth from their battle camp or their fortified camp and attacked me and um, I destroyed them completely and gained a lot of morale from it I'm not sure what everybody does to because they think in the forums they've always claimed that it was gaming to attack Perna camp because it's easy to wipe those troops out but I don't know how they got around it, but other than maybe coming through here, but that would take almost, that would take a long time, I think, because see, um, it's clear, I, well, I guess it's random, but it takes 10 days to enter that region, it takes 10 days to enter that one, and then it takes five to enter that one, so that's 25 days, that's two turns to get to here, and maybe with Frederick, they could get there in one turn, I'm not sure, but I didn't realize I couldn't go straight through Perna and, and to here, but um, in his AAR he was blocked as well. But somehow he was able to get some troops over here, some troops here, and then had some troops obviously up here. But that is not what I did, obviously. Oh, and in his AAR he said that um, he talked about Poland. Because he said he, you know, Poland was still a nation at this time. He said, um, he said in his AAR, he said that all the troops just walked through without being, you know, without any hindrance whatsoever. And he said the Polish people know why, but they don't like to talk about it. Well, I don't know why I'm Polish, and I don't know why, but I'm sure if I did, I would probably wouldn't like to talk about it either. I know it. It's it's very soon you know within the next 20 or 30 years after the seven years war that um, Poland is I think partitioned in the late 1700s so I'm not too happy about that but we got our nation back so that's good for us all right I've talked a lot let's go ahead and execute this turn I've done I've done mostly I've just been talking except for uh, planning this move here, I've basically done only talking. I want to save it, and then we're going to uh, execute. Yeah, and I'm sorry, I, I you know went off on a tangent of talking about people stalking you on the internet. I, I've posted on some political forums before, and you know, and most people are just talk, but. You know, I, I was on a forum and people were saying, "Well, people wouldn't talk like this if you made, if they made you use your real name." And I, and the first reply I said to that was, "If uh, if you posted your real name on these forums, um, if you had to post it, you know, because of forum rules, that forum, whoever on that forum would be sued because somebody would end up getting killed." I rem I read something about you know a couple of years ago, some guy got mad at somebody else online and went and killed them because he knew them. And uh, it's just crazy. You can't be too careful if you ask me about the internet. You just can't. Um, so yeah, I, use, I, I don't use my real name. And I don't use my real name on my computer either because I know that if I do Let's Plays it might be seen or, or something like that. So um, yeah. I hope I haven't.
uh, wondering about maybe a couple of things, but okay. So Budin, there was, there was nobody in Budin, so I took it easily with no battle, and they retreated. Let me get this, the phone's ringing.